What's going on, everybody? Welcome to a Sunday night chill stream with Animal Crossing New Leaf. My name, of course, is Blaze. Thank you for stopping by. Uh, today, we're going to get into uh, more of the new town I've been kind of toying around with here. And I'm also going to be doing, um, let's see, uh, also my, my main town of Atlantis. Uh, going in there, checking out who's, who's still around, who's left, and uh, hoping that Aurora doesn't leave. Because I am going to be mad if that happens. So... Um, she should still be there. Looks like that's her house right there, actually, on screen. So, um, also, what else? Uh, we are doing voting on, um, the better of the two amiibo between, uh, Isabel and, um, Isabel and Celeste. So, let me go ahead and set that poll up. I'm actually running a little bit behind today, so hopefully you guys don't mind, but... Uh, give me one second. I'll set that poll up for you and we'll be able to vote on the better of the two amiibo <laughs> But thanks for stopping by today. We I'm glad you're here super glad that you're here and uh, We'll get everything rolling in just a couple of minutes here um, I'm here to dance is here, and so is uh, Sion. Sion's here as well. Um, super glad you guys are here. Give me just a second. We'll get everything rolling. There we go. I still need to set up a picture for that too. So I actually uh, I went to sleep earlier. I got home from Avengers, and I was like, you know, I'm tired. I'm going to take a nap. So I did that. And uh, it, was one of those, it was one of those naps where you're like, I can wake up whenever, whenever I want. I'll, I'll wake up, and that's 20 minutes, I'll get up. And uh, once we, uh, once I woke up, I was like, oh my gosh, it's like 10 minutes, so I have to get online. So that's where I was. Um, give me just a second here. I might be wrong. Hold on. Maybe, maybe, I, maybe I voted on the wrong person. Give me, give me just a second. I think maybe I started the wrong poll. I'm like all kinds of disoriented and backwards right now. So hopefully I get this cleared up. Give me just a second. Uh, let's see. It is actually not going to be between Isabel and Celeste. Let me change that. Let me, let me stop this poll. That poll's wrong. <laughs> It's actually between Cap'n and Isabel, I believe. Let me double check. Last week it would have been... Refresh my memory. I'm pretty sure Isabel won last week. Um, getting all been out of shape right now. We'll get this. We'll get this open though. Don't worry. I'm like... I'm like super <laughs> disoriented right now. So we did have uh, Cap'n, uh, we did have Isabel and Celeste last week. Isabel won. So we're going to go ahead and start up the poll for Cap'n and um, Isabel and Cap'n. Okay, here we go. This is the real poll. So... If you want to vote, go ahead and put in the vote command, followed by a space, followed by zero for Isabel, or a one for Captain. Sorry about the trouble there, folks. It's been kind of rough getting back into the swing of things today. So, glad you're here, though. Animal Crossing. New Leaf. I don't even know what happened today, <laughs> other than the, the nap thing. Totally threw me off. Let's see. I seem chipper as always, she says. What's the latest? If it's gonna rain. Aw, poor, poor Aurora. She's the coolest. Let's see. No events or anything going on today, so... Hmm. Hmm. It's kind of a normal Sunday. What am I looking for? 
fossils and oh, there's a rock. Got it. And there's a, a villager visiting us from far away. Let's see who this might be. One second, guys, I'll have an image up on your screen too. Oh, it's a purple koala bear, or green. Purple, what is wrong with me today? It's a green koala. Do you think it's okay if I camp here for a while? Just asking to be nice? As you can see, I'm already camping here. I'll just stay here for a while. Nice to meet you. Thanks, pal. Lyman, he lives in one of my towns. When I'm in a small place like this, it's kind of easy to give up secrets. I was really into comic books until not too long ago. Whether you believe that or not is entirely up to you. Why would you come to my town and lie? What's wrong with you? What a nice... <laughs> what a... What a strange fellow. A strange fellow. <laughs> Got a fossil over here. Oh my gosh, I have, I'm out of room. How am I out of room? Hmm. Alpine closet. Oh, I have that. Okay, let me go drop off my music, and then I'll get these fossils analyzed, and then we'll get get all my all my uh, uh, inventory space cleared up. I don't know if you guys can tell how out of it I am right now. I'm just like, um, I'm like so behind. I feel like I'm so. Um, like blindsided. Hey, look at that. Put that here. Oh, I gotta drop this off in the jukebox. Yesterday he gave me a uh, Senior KK. It's actually kind of cool. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Ba ba bum bum ba ba bum ba ba bum 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 bum. When you get the chance to answer, since you are like a whiz on AC, sure. What's the question? Go ahead. I'll be happy to answer if I know the answer. Muy bien. Muy bien. Let's see. I need to grab this one too while I'm here, so I know where it is. And then let's get some stuff analyzed. She's today buying kill a fish. Cool. It's like a little tiny fish. Kill a fish. Kill a fish. Okay. Like, all my other towns have the museum on the other side. Very strange. Do you know the order that paths go down in, like, top, right, middle, left? I can't figure it out. Yeah, I do. It's really weird. Um, I'll show you in just a second how, how it works. Ah. So they, they, it's a really weird pattern and I got really mad at it myself because it doesn't make any sense. But I do remember the pattern. I know it's, uh, the, the first spot is where you're standing. The second spot is right in front of your character. The third spot, I believe, is... Uh, one space up and one space to the right. Um, after that, it's it's one space up and one space to the left. Um, then it's to the left of your character. Then it's to the right of your character. Then it's to the to one space down and to the left. Then one space down to the right. 
and then one space down directly behind you. So I'll just show you real quick on as a demonstration here. Um, if I can find a place that has no, here's a here's a good spot. No, hold on. I have a better spot somewhere, I'm sure. Uh, I'll just go to the beach. Beach has some good stuff. I'm pretty sure all my all my spaces in this town are filled up. So, so if we're standing right here, get out our patterns. So the first one's always like right where you're standing. The second one is right in front of your character. The third one is in front and to the right. The fourth one's the other side, so it's in front and to the left. Then it's just to the right of your character. Then just to the left of your character. Then one space behind and to the right. Then one space behind and to the left. So it skips that little that spot right behind you. And it goes right there. And then it's one space directly behind you. That is the six uh, spot pattern that the game follows when you take when you're placing patterns it's like really frustrating because it doesn't really follow any actual pattern it just kind of it does its own thing but if you are trying to play lay paths and you know about the pattern then you can kind of you can be more efficient at laying down things uh, so you have to pay attention to which direction your character is facing because it always goes the spot that they're standing one spot in front in front and to your character's right. In front and to your character's left. The space to the right of your character. The space to your character's left. The space behind one spot and to the left. I'm sorry, to the right. So behind your character and to the right. The space behind your character and to the left. And the last one is always directly behind your character. Hopefully that helps. I know that's weird. It doesn't make any sense, but it's it's it works. So Starliot's here. Welcome, Starliot. And Yoshi Guy64 is here. Um hoping that everyone's having a great day, of course. Super glad that you're here. I'm gonna step I'm gonna step aside for just like 10 seconds here, guys. I will be right back. Don't worry, I'm not going too far. Um but I have to I have to grab one thing. Hold on. Okay, I'm back. Um anywho, so um So that's how pat that's how patterns are the, that's the the pattern that your patterns are laid down in your town if that makes any sense whatsoever patterns are always laid down in that in that like um what I'm trying to say in the, in the in that order that's that's how they're always laid down so just remember so I'm trying to take this picture real quick so I can get this uploaded and you guys will have a visual on the voting today. So the, the today is the finals. Today is the final voting for uh, the amiibo character development. Who's who's the better amiibo, either Captain or Isabel? So if you would like to vote, make sure you cast your vote, and we will have the results of that very soon between Captain and Isabel, the better character or the better. Um, or the better amiibo whoever you like better isabel i believe is zero let me double check here before i tell you wrong isabel if you vote isabel you want to vote uh do the vote command followed by a space followed by zero and then the same thing for Capin, except it's a one instead of a zero so remember that give me just a second though folks i want to get everything situated here i got a little behind the times today so, um, so just trying to catch up real quick.
Have you guys ever had one of those naps where you go to sleep and you wake up and you're like, you're like, where am I right now? <laughs> That's exactly how I feel right now. I was supposed to wake up like 30 minutes ago and I just kept, just kept staying asleep. I don't know why. So I ended up waking up like five minutes before the stream start time. I had no time to prepare or anything like that, but I didn't want to be late. So I wanted to make sure that... I was on time, so did that for you guys, because I care. But hopefully I've helped a little bit, at least at least to start off, because I feel like that that pattern as far as like how the how everything is laid, um, it it totally makes sense once you realize how it works. But the first time you ever do it, it's like what's going on. But you, you can kind of manipulate it too if you want to just place like a couple of tiles. You can stand like right here and face that direction. And it'll drop it like right where you're standing. One spot up, one spot to the left, one spot to the right. And then to your left and your right. And you don't have to worry about these back two because you, you don't need them. So this person moved out though. I didn't realize that. I knew they were going to. I didn't realize... They had already left. Let me get rid of these paths real quick. Um, so you have, so have you made this the paths that you're using in your town? They're from a QR code. I believe I typed in like stone moss, uh, mossy stone path or something like that. I don't even know if I have the QR code for them. Um, but they're not too hard to find. I, I know that I, it didn't take me too long to find this path. It's pretty easy. Um, Definitely worth it though, because it fits my town theme super well. Um, the town of Atlantis, being an underwater town, would have this type of a path. So, I'm a horde artist, so all mine come from Pinterest. Mine too. I'm so bad at art. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> but there's a lot of really cool um, paths out there that you can find from Pinterest and Google and stuff. So it's pretty cool. Hi, Pizza Boy. Thanks for the follow, by the way, before I forget to say anything. Um, never take naps. I've never been a good sleeper at night, and I can't sleep when it's light out. Ooh, I love naps. I'm tell you. <laughs> it's the best, but I really should have done it. I made a huge mistake taking that nap. Um, that's good. Okay. We're looking at $27,000 for all those fossils. That's what's up. That is what's up. Okay. Killifish is the, is the item of the day. I don't want to sell any killifish right now. Um, is Jay going to talk to me today? No. I really want Anka to talk to me so she can say she's moving out, but she will not do that. I don't know why. Poncho's not outside right now. Where's Poncho? I would hate to think that he is like not seen me in a while. Most times he's on that beach, but he's not there today. I wonder why. Finally, TIY opened in the new town so I can finally start the grind for matching hedges. Yes. That is a grind. Speaking of which, I gotta go get some myself. Before I forget. Um, it's always... Uh, it's it, it makes your town look so much cooler when you have everything like matching and, and the hedges are all... Like together, all the hedge bushes. But it is terrible when you have to wait you know, weeks before the ones that you want show up. I think uh, I had some white ones earlier, which I hadn't seen white ones in like two months. So I bought white ones a couple days ago. Now I gotta plant them somewhere. 
pink hydrangea. I almost always buy all of them because you really never know when you're going to see them again. And if you need a bunch all at the same time, it's probably better to have them just right there. There's a lot of kitchen stuff in here this time. Hmm. Interesting. I made an Animal Crossing meme today. Um, sure. Go ahead and link it. See what it looks like. Uh, let's see. This purple, or this blue penguin. It's so great to visit Atlantis. Thanks. Thanks. Mm -mm 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 -mm. All right, let's keep it going. It's a YouTube video. Let me screen it real quick, make sure it's good. Oh man, the video stopped. It stopped a while ago. Wow. What's going on? There we go. It's back. Um... Everything's weird today. That's all I'm saying. Everything like in my head right now is so weird. Let's see. <laughs> it's pretty funny. I like that. Do, 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 do. Okay. Yeah, the audio should be back now. I had, I had to drop the audio so I could watch that video. Um, it's pretty funny, though. I like it. So I have a couple things I need to get taken care of here real quick before I can officially be done. So hold on one second. Um, where is... There it is. Everything is like, I feel like so backward right now. I'm trying to be patient and like slowly try to find everything, figure everything out. Thanks for the host, Yoshi guy. Appreciate it. Let's see. Got to find my rock today. I haven't found my rock. rock time Ooh. it's gonna be a weird image but it's, it's gonna work it'll be fine also hosting tonight oh nice I'm here to dance is hosting that's super cool I know uh a couple days ago, you were like, you were asking how to host. I was like, I, d I don't know either, to be honest. I don't know if I could, I could probably figure it out now, but I don't know. I wanted to help you, but I didn't know how to help you. Bum, 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 bum. Okay, we're rocking and rolling right now. Any second now, we'll have the picture up and it'll be good. <laughs> I've been here for two years. My computer is going slower than a than a, a snail at a. I don't know. Slower than a snail at a. Um, speed reading convention? I don't know. 
Probably a really bad analogy right there. Anyway, where are my rocks? I gotta hit my rocks. So I saw Avengers today. It's pretty good. It's pretty darn good, actually. Um, I was uh, I was really impressed, actually. I thought it was amazing, amazing movie. Uh, did I not have the white one? Where's the white one? Hmm. I thought I found a white one pretty recently. Interesting. Okay, well, I guess I don't have one. Anywho. Um, yeah. We'll not be talking about any spoilers today. Um, I thought the movie was, was very good. It was, uh, just just knowing that there's two versions of the movie or two uh it's two parter it ended it was exactly what i thought it was gonna be it wasn't any wasn't any major surprises but that's all i'm gonna say very good though um very well done and they did a really good job of uh painting the threat Painting up the threat, I, I suppose. Where is Maroc? Maroc. But it was good. It was very good. There's Poncho. Let's talk to him. Let's talk to him. <laughs> Let's hang out, dude. Can we talk? Up for some power hide and seek? Oh, I don't want to do this. I don't really want to do this, but I'm gonna. I just I have a feeling it's gonna be really tough. There's so much in my town right now. There we go. Uh, let's see. Aurora and Bill are playing? That's awesome. All right, I better find these fools. You know, hide and seek would be a lot easier if you could <laughs> see, if you could move the, the camera 300, 360 degrees in your town, rather than having to just do the down from the front view. I don't see them yet though. They gotta be right here somewhere. There's one. Bill. He hid like the closest to his house possible. His house is like right down below me. His house is right here. He's like, yeah, I'll play hide and seek, but I don't wanna go too far. Aurora, nope. I checked up here already, right? Yeah, nobody up there. Where else are we looking here? I love when they hide behind their own houses. That's like the easiest place to hide. It's behind your own house. Nobody there. They're usually pretty pretty easy to find for the most part. I don't know if it's something I've missed so far. I don't think I've missed anything. They're usually pretty easy to find. They often like won't like peek out from behind the tree or whatever. Most times they do, but I've seen a couple of times where they just don't they don't look out very often. In those cases, it's like, oh man.
They're probably most definitely up here in the in the apple orchard. They can hide on the beach. What? Nothing here. Um. No, 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 no. Okay, let's see. I'll check out the beach and see what's down there. I don't know if I've ever seen him hide on the beach, though. Let's see. Nothing here yet. I'm down to seven minutes on this hide-and-seek fiasco. There's one. Poncho. Poncho loves the beach, by the way. He's, like, always on the beach. So, I, I don't know how it is, but, like, in the, uh... In the island tour for hide and seek, they are like ruthless. They will hide in like the, the most random spot ever. And it's like, they don't peek out or anything. They're like, I don't know how they do it as far as determining like what's easier to find and what's more difficult to find. I thought I checked all this stuff up here. I guess I didn't. There it is. Aurora. I did it! Yes! I'm a hide-and-seek veteran. I still lost. Pains me to do it, but you earned my alpine panel. Cool. Thanks, pal. I'm gonna get this lost item and see if I can turn it in. Um, only because... Um... Everyone's at the same place right now. A lost item. You found a lost item. Mm -mm -mm. It's probably not Poncho's item. You drop this. Bum, 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 bum. That's not mine. Ooh. They're always dropping their items, losing stuff. These villagers. Where's the other person? Hmm. She's vanished. Rora's gone. Clay? I feel like Clay's just like right on the on the on the edge of moving or not. He's like, I don't really know what I'm doing with my life. <laughs> Maybe I should stick around. Maybe I should move. One of these days he'll make the decision and I don't know what it's going to be. But I feel like he's always like walking around the town like, should I stay or should I go? I never talk to him. I never, I never bother to say hello or anything. That was the first time in a while that I spoke to him. Over here, we've got Mira. She's not in the house, though. <laughs> Joey? <laughs> Poor Clay. <laughs> Poor little guy. You need something? I like Joey's eyebrows. They're all, they're like super thick. <clears throat> B 
baby, you've got to let me know. Should I stay or should I go? Jay? Hmm. You lose it? Oh, cool. Pop some rocks in it, tie it in your shoes, and pow, buff ankles. What? How would you not realize that... <laughs> um... That your that the 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 satchel of rocks you have tied to your ankle is not there anymore. That's what I don't get. All right, I think we're good. Let's go ahead and just sell everything. I'm gonna go ahead and get my mailbox cleared out too. He called you Detective Genius. He's like, he's like, it looks like Detective Genius is on the case. It's kind of funny because I wanted I wanted them all to call me genius because it is sarcastic. Because it, it almost always sounds sarcastic. <clears throat> Our genius mayor. Here he is. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> I haven't even found my rock yet. I tried that one. I didn't try this one. I like that nickname. Oh, look at that. Or, sweet. It's like candy. Oh, okay. That's fine. It's always great when you get a bunch of ore from the rock. I think it's cool. Except... I almost always end up just selling it because it doesn't ever get me anything or doesn't really do anything for you in this game. It does it does some stuff, but it's not something that I'm super excited about doing. And I already have so much of it saved up that I'm not sure there's even a point to it anymore. I wish there, there was more to do with it is all. Let's see, assess a fossil. What do you call it? What is this thing? I have all my fossils, so I don't really need any of these things. It's a diplo neck. I thought he said I thought he said it was a dope neck or something. I was like, this fossil is dope. It's dope. So the thing is, I I like having the customized furniture, but. I just wish there was more of it. I wish there was more furniture you could customize. And if there was more of a, uh, a reward for doing it, there's really nothing. I mean, some of the modern stuff, if you customize it, looks really cool. But aside from that, once you do the color that you like, you never need it again. So I wish there was just more stuff that you could do. Or at least more uses for it. Like maybe you could use like, maybe if you collected 100 of the same color of ore, they would let you customize your Publix Works projects with di with different colors or something. Like, to me, that'd be really cool. But alas, I did not make this game, so... I'm not in charge of decisions like that. But how cool would that be? I think that'd be pretty awesome. Aurora, what up? Oh no, I hit her. What can I do for you? Might be sort of random, but do you know what I'm thinking about at this very moment? Gloves. I've been carrying around, carrying my coins in this glove I don't wear anymore. Um, but the clerks at the store always looked at me funny, so maybe I should get an actual change purse. Yes. Yes, you should. Storing 100 pieces of ore would be rough. Yeah, storing like... 
storing 100 pieces of the same ore would even be tough as well. So, you know, if you want to make your windmill uh, blue, you'd have to save up 100 sapphires or even just like 50 or 25 or whatever. But some high number that you don't always get, that you're not always able to, to keep. I think it'd be really cool, but... Hopefully in the next game they'll do something cool because I think, I really think that, I think we're going to hear something about Animal Crossing pretty soon. I don't know what it's going to be, but there's potential that it's going to be at E3 this year. And they had that whole fiasco with, with updating their website, so it's possible that we're looking at some new Animal Crossing information soon enough, but we'll see. We'll see how it goes. Have you noticed how blue the sky is on a clear day? Uh, yes. It's awesome. I feel like I ordered some stuff. What did I order? Poncho. Timothy Nook. Timothy Nook. Timothy Nook. Poncho. Oh, that's the shovel. Um, Poncho's Master of Gifts. Okay. Get the rest of these letters. I know I ordered something. More Timothy Nook stuff. I ordered a bunch of stuff. I wish I, I, wish I remembered what it was. Oh, Astro stuff. Okay. Cool. I can decorate my house with Astro stuff now. I forgot that I ordered it. I have to go talk to... Um, Cyrus and get it all changed into blue Astro stuff. I don't have the whole set yet, but I'm working on it. And I want it all to be blue. That'd be pretty cool. I like the, the modified Astro set. The regular Astro set's just kind of all right. So let's see here. I have a project for you. Astro table. Yes. What do you suggest? Blue and black. All right. Thirty minutes. Thank you. Come again. So, drop back over to my house here, and Poncho sent me a pair, which I have pairs. I don't, I don't need them, but he sent me a, a pair. That was cool. Prefer the blue Astro set to the original orange one too. Where am I gonna put this thing? So wallpaper. There we go. I have to move these eggs somewhere. I have all these eggs. I don't know what I'm going to do with them. Probably just going to get rid of them all. The table can, can house this stuff. I can get rid of this um, Splatoon stuff, I guess. I don't want to, but I could. Hmm. Okay. Let's just eat this. My character's been looking a bit malnourished these days, so I figure it's time to eat some food. A gray tartan shirt? I don't like this shirt. I've seen it hundreds of times. It's always so weird. Oh, look who it is. <laughs> it's every single week with this guy.
And he's wearing his blue, like, he's wearing the, <laughs> the custom pattern I put up on the thing. Um, every single week he comes into my town, into my house. Whenever I stop in just to, to drop off some stuff or whenever I um, am ready to reorganize, he just drops in unannounced. O'Hare. Uh, so terrible. He's nice. He's, he's cool. He's one of my favorite villagers, though, so I'm not even really mad at him. It's just expected of him to show up. Uh, next time, visit my place instead. Okay. 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 Alrighty. So what else do I need to do in my town today? I don't think I really need to do anything else. Um... Give me a second. <clears throat> he said he'll give you tea and fancy cakes. Nice. I'll settle for, for tea and zebra cakes. They're so good. Zebra cakes. The water is looking very purple today. It's kind of strange. Uh, my computer is going so slow right now. What is wrong? <clears throat> Zebra cakes. So good. Let's see. What did I do today? I did something. Hmm. Thanks for using the cat machine. I did fossil record. Horned beetle, turn up profit. Yeah, I didn't do that. <laughs> Catch a lucky break. Buy the right accessories. Buy, buy three fortune cookies. Well, that's not going to happen today. Today's the last day for that. It's definitely not going to happen. Interesting. So what else do I need to do today in this town? I'm probably going to change towns here in a second. Because I think I've done everything I need to do. Um... Pretty sure I've done everything I need to do today. I've got that item being modified in uh, the retail space right now. And this person's... I talked to him, but I don't think he's going to move in. And that's fine. He doesn't need to. Let's see. Lyman. Price fixer. I'll draw one card from these and you'll guess the number. If you guess close, I'll sell you my vision tester for a good price. If you guess far off the target, you'll have to buy it for a higher price. Sure. Um, that way. Oh, I was wrong. Dang. He just robbed me of $3,000. He just straight up... It was highway robbery. Sure, move in. I only play a game to decide. If you win, I'll move. <gasps> An astro lamp? I want the astro lamp though. Uh Rock, paper, scissors. Ah, uh, cool. Well, I guess he's moving in, but I wanted his astro lamp. I really didn't want him to move in, to be honest. I was, I was content with just meeting him, but... Um, Astral Lamp, he's going to try to give me that again, so that's cool. First round, left or right? Right. 
right. You got it right again. Left. Oh man. That's cool. 2700 for an astro lamp. Not bad. I kind of needed it anyway, so. He's a jock like Poncho. He's not he's not exactly like Poncho though. He's he's cool. But he's not just like Poncho. Alright, let's uh drop off this stuff. This astro lamp, I think. I wanna see what it looks like. I think it's one of those ones you have to hang on the wall, but I don't remember. I guess we'll see. Bum 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 bum. Vision tester. Wait. What happened? I paid him money for the astro lamp. Where is it? Oh, he bought my astro lamp. Ah. Anyway. <laughs> That's fine. It's it's fine. I ain't even mad, bro. <laughs> when spring isn't here. Spring, uh, it was kind of a springy day today. Probably in the upper upper 50s, close to 60, but it's not quite where I want it to be. I can reorder it. That is true. I thought he was giving me an item that I didn't have. I was like, oh cool, an astral lamp, I'll take it. No, he wanted to buy the item that I went out of my way to order. I don't really want him to move in now. He's probably gonna move into that one spot anyway. He's gonna move into this spot right over here, I almost I almost promise you this is where he's going to live. Right here. And it wouldn't be so bad if he was just like... If he lined his house up, even with this house, that'd be great. So maybe putting that right here will help. Um, we'll see how it goes. There, there's a chance that he might put his house over here. Which also would be fine. But no one ever puts their house here. Um, potentially here as well. I doubt it though. I don't see that happening. Or even up here. Probably not right here though. I would guess. Woo! Jay! Parkour. Uh, wait, hold on. You got it. It's bold. It's the same thing you said 20 seconds ago. All right. This is Lyman for anybody who is curious about Who's moving in, just to show you? He's a green koala, a jock. Koality character, that's him right there. So I'm gonna go ahead and change uh, games here real quick because I think I've done everything I need to do in this game so far. So I'm gonna go ahead and save right here. And we'll switch it up to the other town. So don't forget to vote on your favorite character between Isabel and Cap'n. Uh, this is the final, the, the, the final voting on the Amiibo Tournament of Power. <laughs> so make sure you cast your vote. Who is the coolest character? I will. I'll, I'll reorder it. I probably will forget, but 
I'm not I'm not concerned about it. I'll, I'll get it. Alrighty. Back in it. Back at it again at Krispy Kreme. <laughs> Back at it again in the town of Sugar Rush. I feel like I scratched my myself right here. I can't. It doesn't like. It just feels weird. I don't know why. I feel like I scratched my face. Look at these blue flowers. It's so cool. I hope they keep sprouting like this because they're hard to get. And they're pretty cool. Uh, I down. I think I downloaded it. I can't remember how I got the Decidueye picture. Um, it's a theme that I downloaded, but I don't. I don't remember where I got it or how much it was. Let's see. Pink flowers. This character has a lot more to do in her town because I'm trying to build this town up. It's not quite there yet, but I'm trying to get it to a point where I can be proud of it. And it's not too bad so far. Item of the day. Pants. <laughs> right, look at that. It's a little fossil. So, she needs money is what she really needs. I think I upgraded her house pretty recently. Um, who's this? This is a new person. Hey. Rodney. I've been here a whole week. <laughs> Doesn't matter. I'm Rodney. I'm new to Sugar Rush. I thought I'd I met almost everyone. That makes you Penelope. Yeah, everyone's mentioned you. I'm glad we finally met. Sounds like we're becoming better friends already. It does. So I, I'm pretty sure I paid money to Nook um, to see if uh, we could upgrade my house again. I'm pretty sure we did that. So the upstairs, I think, is bigger now. Yeah, look at that. <laughs> the wallpaper and flooring is disgusting, but it's okay. Merengue would definitely fit this town. She's one of the coolest villagers. She has, uh, she's like a chef and she has like a strawberry nose. She's a rhino and she has like a strawberry nose. It's really cool. She's one of the coolest villagers I've, I've ever seen. Um, just in how unique she is. She's really cool. Two fossils. Um, let's see who else I can pester today gotta find my rock also um, oh, this person needs to just move out already I already hate that person are you gonna download a dress I think there is a dress I could get for Vanellope, but I, th I think I like the outfit she's wearing right now. Um, except for maybe the skirt. And her jacket's not green. But I like I like the way her outfit looks right now. It kind of fits with what she wore in the, in the movie. So I could download the a, a better outfit, but I think that I'd rather use assets from the game rather than downloading everything. Either way, it'd be fine. If I wanted it to look more authentic, I could definitely just download something, but I, I want to use assets from the game before I download anything. All right, let's go talk to Nook real quick, and then <laughs> Paula was stalking me last week. Totally. Everywhere I went, every single place that I went, Paula was there, and she was just hanging out like it was nothing. And it was very scary. I was terrified.
terrorified. Five hundred and ninety-eight thousand um, dollars. No exteriors, so that's unfortunate. I need the sweets exterior and all the sweet stuff. Hmm. It's Timmy. I like this. What is this? Pink velvet stool. I don't think I've ever seen that before. Maybe some better wallpaper. What's this look like? Hmm. It's not bad. A regal wall. That might that might shoot suit her. I'll take it. Let's see. Regal carpet. Let's go. Let's get it. <laughs> I already have a matching furniture set. Um, I gotta sell all this stuff. Common floor, common wall, minima minimalist table. All right, let's go get my fossils analyzed and then sell everything off. I like to analyze my fossils and then sell them because I don't, <laughs> I don't need them. I'm pretty sure that uh, Vanellope has everything she needs. Well, I think I think she's not. She's missing a couple of fossils, but eventually, um, eventually she'll come across them. It's not really a big deal to me. What's wrong? How for fortuitous I should see you right now. For I am once again fl flummoxed, possibly even vexed, by a problem. This time my dilemma involves a friend, truth be told, an old acquaintance named Brewster. He's a master of coffee brewer. This fellow has no place where he can put his skills to use. So why not open a cafe here in Sugar Rush? Visitors would love it. Okay, sure. A cafe would benefit Sugar Rush. In fact, what sort of town doesn't have a proper coffee monger? I firmly convinced. Well, thanks, Blathers. For suggesting a coffee shop. Some towns have coffee shops on every corner, not us. It's our first one. Ooh. He found something, eh? Let's give him what he found. Two things. Cool. Blathers needs to stop showing off with his fancy words. Nothing. All right. Let's go. I have to check this thing for um, bushes. Right? And then... I don't have any in here today. So never mind. I guess we'll check and see what uh, Mabel and Sable has to offer. I'd get a haircut, but I know I'm just going to mess it up. I, got, I don't want to get a haircut until I'm ready to put this town up on the Dream Towns. Um, which will be a, a long, long time. Just pretend like she has a ponytail. <laughs> for now. For the time being. Eventually she will, but right now she doesn't have a ponytail. Because I'm just going to mess it up. Payback278, hello. Welcome to the stream. Oh, I like this bow. I'll take it. Um, okay. 
What about shoes? Does she have any good shoes? Friend me. I'll friend you a little bit later on. Thanks for the offer, though. Thanks for dropping by. Black pumps. Eh. Eh. Pass for now. Black loafers. Don't need them. I like these. These tights are cool. These heart print tights are tight. Ah! Take my money. They're very cool. We're gonna wear them right now. <laughs> okay, let's go sell some stuff. I'm running out of space. I found pink sweatpants. Can she use them? Uh, I mean, she could wear them, but I don't know if they're going to match this outfit very well. Uh, the outfit is supposed to mimic what she wears in the, in the show, but or in the movie, but I can't... It's not perfect, but I'm trying to get it to a point where it's better. Pink sweatpants. I want to sell. Let's see. That. This. It's a yellow ribbon. Let's keep that. Socks. That. Velvet stool. I'm keeping. Emerald's gone. Cool globe. I'll keep, I guess. Common floor. Minimalist table. Okay. All that can go. 6,000 bells. Oh, yeah. CD player. I did do that. Take it home. I want to see what this minimalist table I can do. I want to see what I can do with that. Actually, I think I remember it was, it was terrible stuff. <laughs> Let's see. I think he actually tells you, like, it's like smoky brown or something or just some weird stuff what do you suggest um yeah it's like ash brown moss green gray never mind what don't change it pshaw mira it's a miracle that she's here. Ha! Guys, don't forget to vote on the better of the characters between Isabel and Cap'n. Vote space zero will get you a vote for Isabel, and vote space one will get you a vote for Cap'n. Put that in command form, and you should be okay. The winner is going to be crowned the champion amiibo. In the event of a tie, I will decide the tiebreaker. It was a brown skirt, not mint green stockings. Alright, let's drop this uh, regal stuff here. Velvet stool I'll put up here. Can I do something with this? Display? Meh. I don't know. It's probably it's probably fine. I could probably just sell this. I don't need it. I thought it was just a flower, but it's not. It's a actual ribbon. I'll drop the cool globe, I guess. I don't need it. We'll drop it anyway. Mm 
Okay. My gosh, my this area right here under my eye, I feel like I scratched it and it really it's like irritating me a little bit. Border border border. Boom. 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 I have a regal item. Look at this. Regal vanity. Cool, right? So I don't know. I think I'm going to put... I'm going to give her all the princess stuff. Um, and probably put it in the basement so that she doesn't really get... Um, so it kind of insinuates that her... her princess status is hidden <laughs> just like the movie and even the regal stuff shouldn't really shouldn't really be up there but it's okay for now let's see where else Green stockings. Awesome. I don't need them right now, but at some point I'll probably need them. Let's see. I'm trying to find the my secret rock today. My money rock today. I don't know where it is. I haven't tried this one yet. No. Um, Mira. In one week total. <laughs> as long as she's counting the days, I guess. That's not creepy at all. Oars. Oreos. <laughs> wow, just be careful, okay? Some of the rocks in this town are super hard. Trying to find Oreos. Here we go. Another rock. There we go. Money. When you get the brown skirt. Oh, I had plenty of space. It's fine. What is all this stuff? A broken axe. Peaches. What? I don't need those peaches. Chocolate coin. Okay. So... I'm going to sell the peaches... I want to sell. And this stuff too. Lab floor. I probably should have gotten my fossil examined, but that's okay. Millions of peaches. Peaches for me. Bum, 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 bum. It is the bad music. <laughs> Just so you guys know, I'm not a big fan of this music. Um, fossil. Yay. So this character needs to get a bunch of money quickly. Now, I'm not quite ready to start doing the island adventures just yet. Even though it's the easiest way to get money, I'm not quite ready to do it. It feels like a chore at this point, so... We've also got... I moved some of my flowers. Put some of them over here. In the corner to make it look a little bit, a little bit better. I like this area right here. I don't know what to do with it, though. 
I feel like maybe a, a Publix Works project would be perfect, but like a flower clock might be cool. Let's see, I have room for none. Okay. I also need another character in this town. I suppose I can start my other character. If I really if I really feel like it's necessary, I can do that. Start working on him to get um, all of the to be able to unlock the flowers. Um, or to unlock the patterns, rather, from Mabel and Sable. And then... Let's see. Let me think it over for a few minutes. I, I might start a new character today. I don't know. Haven't decided yet. If I do, it's going to be Ralph, and their house is going to his house is going to be down here. Um, I'm also kind of curious as to whether or not, well, his house will fit here. I know that. Um, so we'll see how that goes. It should be fine. But then he needs money to pay off his first expansion, so. What does that leave us? That shouldn't be too bad, though. But also, this house might be in the way. I don't... I really want Paula... I want Paula to move out first. Before I start building new houses. Hope a villager does not move into that spot. Me too. That spot... That spot's pretty cool. I also need Becky to move out. Hide and seek? No. I just did that earlier. I don't want to do it again. So her, Becky's house is right here. I, I need that to move too. And then another house will be up here. I, don't, I think it'll fit. I don't know. I'm pretty sure it will. That one has to be uh, fully expanded as well. Um... So I can't, I can't just do like a, a half house or like, or like two, two expansions. It has to be fully expanded. So 7 million bells is what we're looking at. It's going to be tough. Rondom, thanks for stopping by. Have a great night and I will catch you on the next stream. I'll talk to you later. So... I don't want to start that house either because I don't I don't know what to call that character just yet, and I'm not I haven't done the uh, the research on it, so I don't want to do that. Um, and then as far, as far as the fourth house, um, I don't know. I I feel like I should do something with some of the kids, some of the racer kids, and just have like a different. I don't know, maybe, maybe a different room for each kid, but I don't know if I want to do that or if I want to do Fix-It Felix. I don't want to do that because I feel like it, it needs to be rooted in Sugar Rush and it shouldn't be, there shouldn't be a house for Ralph. Well, Ralph should have a house, yes, but I don't think that um, Felix should have a house or anybody else. It should all be like Sugar Rush houses. So, so right now I'm just I'm just thinking about what I what I could do or should do. I don't th I'm not gonna make another house today. I'll, I'll do that. I'll think more about it and do that at a later time. But I think a house will fit right here in between like this space and this space. Pretty sure it'll be fine. Let me measure out my current house and see how many spaces it takes up. Yeah, one, two, three, and then it's got, yeah. That should be fine. It should fit. Poifically.
Oh look, it's Francine. Uh, we haven't talked in forever. Should pay more attention to me. I will. I will. I like Francine. She's awesome. Avoid UV rays. Thank you for that. Let's see. Last week I went to the island and got some money. I don't want to do that again this week, but it's something I probably could do. I've got all my flowers and everything kind of put in the places where I want them <clears throat> for now, at least to, to grow and expand. I'll probably end up digging a bunch of them up, though, and not using them. I want them to spawn, like, different colors, and they haven't done that yet, so I'm a little worried that it won't work out. Let's water some of these plants here. Try to get some hybrids. Bum, 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 bum. Oh, I'm not sure why I'm watering those. That doesn't make any sense. They're not going to grow there. There we go. I also want to water... This one has to go. Those are good. I've got orange on this side. Hopefully those will spawn some, some I think those are black right here, black roses. These villagers do a really good job of messing up all my flowers. Every day, I log in, there's just new flowers put down. Random spots, they don't really care. Let's see. Yellow violets. Bum, 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 bum. Is that more? More flowers. I have my town meticulously laid out. <laughs> relating to flowers. There's more up there I just I just noticed. Yeah. Maybe I can dig up Becky's house and make her move. <laughs> That'd be the greatest thing ever. Uh, red. We've got red roses and cosmos. Pansies, rather. Pansies, I mean. Roses. A lot of red roses already. White violets. Oh, there's a yellow one here. What are you doing? No! Darn it. There we go. Violets right here. Are those lilies? Yeah, those are lilies. Those are not what I'm thinking of. Where are I'm always confused on, on flowers. <laughs> I always get the names confused. I can't help it. Oh, there they are, right there. 
This was them. Okay. There we go. Can't stop yawning. It took forever to fall asleep last night, and I wake up at 5 a.m. Oh my gosh. Goodness gracious. No. Whew, I'm a bit tired myself. To be totally honest, I shouldn't be tired at all. I'm a bit exhausted, though. I don't know why. I wish I had a better explanation. I'm just just kind of tired. Hey, Mira. What's up? Changing my image. Don't change, please. Sorry for your waste of time. Oh my gosh, now I feel bad. <laughs> I should have helped her. <laughs> okay. Analyze more fossils. And then also sell some more stuff. And then pay off some more of my, uh, my house. I feel like that's probably the priority here is to get my house paid off. Um, it might be a while though. Assess a fossil. Thanks, Blathers. You're the coolest. Actually, you know what? I, I wonder what's upstairs. I didn't talk to... Uh, I don't think I've talked to Isabel after paying for the museum expansion. So I wonder what's up here. Maybe I did. I don't remember. It's been a while. Oh, a silver net. Uh, next time. <laughs> yep. 30 bugs in the collection. Let's take it. Thanks. Okay, so I don't have any of these open yet. Which is fine. I don't need them to be open right now. I don't know what I'm going to put there, but I'm definitely going to put something there. Yeah, I'm not sure what to put up there in those in the museum. But something will come to mind. The downside is is that people visiting from a dream town can't even see uh, they can't even see what's up there. So that's the biggest downside is dream town people can't get to main street. So is it even worth it to do that? Two play coins. Let's see what's inside these bad boys. Fortune inside. Let's see. It holds great treasure to you. The future. It's a mystery of great treasure. If you stray from the path, you will find yourself lost. Okay. Thank you. Lucky ticket. Oh, nice. Question block. I kind of wanted that, actually. For Ralph's house. Lucky ticket. 
Ba -bum, ba -bum, bum. Iron Vance is tired. Gonna stay quiet for a while. That's okay. Hey, thanks. Timmy? Thanks a bajillion. You're the coolest. The coolest. I think I want to scan an, a Zelda character. Well, I don't need to right now. I think at some point I want to scan a Zelda character so I can get a bunch of video game stuff to put in Ralph's house. I want Ralph's house to be a shrine to all video games. As well as, like, the, the first room is going to be all about him. All about Ralph. Um, possibly the upstairs will be all about uh, Fix-It Felix. Um, or maybe even, yeah. And then one of the other rooms is going to be all about Zelda. One will be all about... Um, I, I guess any other video game related items I can think of will go in those other rooms. But I just I want it all to be like video game stuff. Because Ralph is from a different game who traveled to Sugar Rush. And I think that will just make sense for that house. So... Um... I want to sell. Seventy-eight hundred. Do 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 do. But that means he also needs a full, a full house. <laughs> Dang it. His house has to be full. Uh, fully expanded. I don't know if I'll do the same for Vanellope. I probably will have a fully expanded house. I just don't know what I'm going to put in the other rooms. Haunt Gamer and more, hello. Hello, Haunt Gamer and more. Hello. Don't forget to vote for your favorite uh, character between Isabel and Cap'n. Crowning the champion amiibo on today's episode of Animal Crossing. Let's move this. There we go. And hello, Haunt Gamer, and more. Uh, you do the vote command. So you do the uh, exclamation point, vote, space, zero, to vote for Isabel. Or the vote command, space, one, to vote for Cap'n. Either way, we want your vote. And a vote for Isabel means that Isabel will probably walk home with the with the crowning achievement. I like Isabel, but I kind of feel like she's a little bit just a, just a smidge. And don't be mad at me. Don't don't hate me for saying this, but I feel like Isabel is just a smidge, just a smidge overrated. A smidge. Such a low, minuscule amount. But I feel like she's a little bit overrated. Um, she's a great character, though. And Cap'n's also a great character. So Cap'n made it to the finals. Which is good. Um, I like that character a lot, too. So we'll probably do this again next year. With the voting. And, uh... We'll try to make sure that, uh everyone has a fair chance this time next year there might be a whole lot more people in the stream so maybe we'll have a better um, understanding of the votes and everything too so um, let's go ahead and, and catch some fish and then uh, oh my 
uh, thing is up here. Oh, it's right here. I have two nets now. Okay. But... May the Animal Crossing's gods find... For... God's... Fi what? Five you great pain. Five you? Five you great pain? <laughs> I'm scared. Okay, so I'll probably get some, some new fish too, which I need to donate. We'll go get some ocean fish. How about that? 20 fish, 5 seashells. That'll help out with some some meow coupon things. Give you great pain. Give you great pain. I don't want great pain though. So, I wonder what it is about Isabel that gives so much love. Like, what is it about Isabel that people like so much? And the only thing I can come up with is that Isabel, you have to interact with her. And she helps you out so much. I think that I think that people's love for the character is, well, not always. I think that people's emotions for the character are always, are always indicative of how often you speak to them. So, as an example, we've got two different sides of the spectrum here. We've got Isabel, who everyone loves, and we've got Tom Nook, who everyone seems to hate. Um, but both of those characters you have to speak with quite a bit like you have to talk to them on a regular basis in order for in order to progress in the game or to make your town look better or whatever um, so there is an opinion on either character but for a character like uh Isabel's brother Digby I don't feel one way or another about him he's just kind of bleh you know but when you think about his role in the game he doesn't really do anything in the game so you never you never really have to interact with him same with Luna you never talk to her and she's a character in the game um, so I think that the amount of emotion that people feel towards a character is a reflection of how much time you spend talking to that character um, just by default. So characters like Luna and Digby and a few others kind of get left behind because you don't really ever have to talk to them. But Isabel and Tom Nook, you do. Um, But Tom Nook's whole operation is kind of kind of weird anyway. So he he's I don't know. I really feel like somebody should look into child labor laws related to Tom Nook and his uh, and his business practices with his kids. Something doesn't seem right there. Child labor laws are real. <clears throat> what did you bring? All of this stuff. Two thousand dollars. I want to pay some of my some of my uh, loan off as well.
before I start fishing again. So I'm fishing right now because um, it's one of my missions for the day to get more Meow coupons. I might actually be needing some Meow coupons pretty soon, so I may as well get some fishing done. I also don't like fishing in this game when I'm on stream because it's so hard to do. When I'm like laying in my bed or like on my own, um, it's totally easy. But right now it's like the pressure's on. Uh, Collider, yeah, it's it's working. Sorry. Um, the uh, the voting is working, but there's no confirmation that you voted. I your vote did register though. I, I do see that. Um. So, yeah, keep that, like, just remember that uh, when you vote, there's no, like, confirmation of it right now. Um, but I, I saw that your vote went through, so you're good. You're, the first way that you put it in was correct. Oof, fishing hard. <laughs> fishing is, like, so hard in this game. It's not that bad. I'm usually pretty good at it. It's when I'm fishing on stream. Because I'm like trying to be entertaining and talking and... My mind's not 100% focused on the fishing. So the fish oftentimes get away. But hopefully not today. I'll catch them all. Gotta catch them all! Francine. All the way up here. Alrighty, here we go. Fish time. Flinchy. Don't kill me, but I'm learning Mega Man in Smash. Oh no! <laughs> I like Mega Man. I, I played a little bit of Mega Man. Um... A few weeks ago, I just kind of fired up Mega Man and, and played exclusively with him, and I didn't really know anything about him. Just jumped into Four Glory and, and played a little bit, and he's actually not bad. He's he's a good character. His uh, the only thing I don't like about Mega Man is that his smash attacks and his tilt attacks don't make a whole lot of sense. They're different than everybody else's. Like, I feel like his smash attacks. Um, hold on. Hold up. I, I messed it up. See what I'm saying? I can't do it. I feel like his smash attacks... Um, his most powerful attacks are actually tilt attacks. And his smash attacks, yeah, are powerful as well. But... He's got some really powerful tilt attacks. And I have a hard time using tilt, the tilt attacks. I'm better now, but... Um... But I like playing as him. He's he's really fun. So I think my biggest complaint about Mega Man is people often like uh, they they spam projectiles with Mega Man. That's really annoying. It's also really effective. So I've seen that. Like I've seen it happen, where um, there's that new tournament mode that they introduced a little while ago. My buddy played in a tournament against against a Mega Man, got to the finals and everything, and uh, once he got to the finals, he went up against a Mega Man that basically just spammed projectiles the entire time, didn't do anything else, time ran out, and since um, Mega Man did more damage, um, then my buddy lost, so it was really frustrating to watch him do that. Oh, snap. Or fish. We could catch fish. Or. Uh, the most powerful attack is down smash. Second is up tilt. Which is basically Ryu true shuriken. Yep. His, uh, 
his up tilt comes out so quick too. So if you're playing, if you if you really want to get someone like catch him off guard, that up tilt, that up tilt though, it's wicked. Where have all the fishies gone? Oh, nothing there. He's great though. Love him. He is pretty fun. I wouldn't mind picking him up and playing him again. I also tried playing Sonic recently too, and he's also not bad, but you have to really be in the mood. And there's a couple people that uh, I've seen play Sonic really, really well, but it's just really tough. And this will make you feel better. Uh oh, what is it? <gasps> I vowed never to spam, so I actually know combos and stuff. Yeah, I mean that's that's a that's a very noble noble stance to take on the character because I feel like there's a, there's a few things I vowed not to do in Smash because they're annoying. And one is like I'm never gonna play Marth because I don't I don't like the way that Marth his like forward air is so easy to pull off and it's so devastating and it's so annoying. So that's one thing I never do. Uh, what else? Um, also Ike and Ganondorf. I'll never play those characters either because they're, they're kind of the same, like, spammy, powerful characters that, if you're not paying attention, will kill you. And I happen to find myself not paying attention often. So I get caught up in those moves and I get really mad about it. For me, it's like, it's like playing Splatoon 2 and using the paintbrush. I just don't want anything to do with it. <laughs> I'm cool. <laughs> I'm good. Widow fishy. So you guys, do, do you guys know what I did the other day? It was really weird. I, uh... I was online on YouTube just like looking at videos that were out there and I came across a video that I hadn't seen in a long, long time. Like, I mean, so long. Um, it was very strange uh, to have seen it. Um, but I came across a video for an old school episode, like super old episode of Double Dare on Nickelodeon. Um, and I, I watched the whole thing like it was just so weird to, to watch that old episode of like and see all these old toys and and look at like all this old like humor and and look at what I used to think was cool as a kid. It's so weird. Um, I'm not sure if you guys know what Double Dare is, but apparently it's coming back to Nickelodeon and it was uh, it was a show about it was a trivia show for kids. Um, where you could actually take, you had to like compete in little like mini games and stuff, uh, in order to win money for your team. And then the, the team with the most money won, um, and got to compete in the final, uh, the final physical challenge for other prizes and things. So it was, it was a cool show. I liked it. But it was just so weird watching that old show. That was kind of a side story. I'm not sure if you guys care about that or not. But I wanted to bring it up because it was just so weird. <laughs> I vowed never to spam with Samus though. Which I've you've seen firsthand, And Meta Knight with that dang side B and regular B.
The thing about spamming though is that spamming, it works from time to time when you're playing a game. But if someone's really good, they can they can figure out what you're doing and stop you. So as much as spamming is annoying in some cases, it's not it's not beyond it's not beyond stopping. Like it's possible to stop someone from spamming and winning. It's just uh It's just it's just different when you're um When you're going up against somebody who knows how to how to stop you from spamming, as opposed to going up against someone who <laughs> will let you do whatever you want to them. I think on Saturday I had a couple of different situations with, with people who I was fighting them and they, they literally just let me do whatever I wanted, so I just kept doing it. And yeah, I felt bad, but at the end of the day, you know, I wanted to win just as much as they did. And maybe they just wanted to play and have fun, but... And I did too, and it was fun for me. But I try not to spam as often as possible. It's, it's just difficult sometimes. A black bass. Rainbow Trout. Yeah. So I wonder if they're going to update the villager character in Smash um, for the Switch uh, to allow you to pay actual money um, for better attacks. Like... Kind of like how they did with Pocket Camp, where you can pay actual money to get leaf tickets and stuff. I wonder if they'll let you pay actual money to um, to have stronger attacks. I'm being like super sarcastic. I really don't want that to happen. I'd be super mad if that was the case. You have no idea how, how mad I would be. It would probably be to the point where I'd give up on Nintendo altogether. I don't think I'd buy another Nintendo game for a long time. Ike's fun though. That's probably a lie. I'd probably still buy Nintendo games, but I wouldn't even care about Animal Crossing anymore at that point. In teams. And I'm Ike. Fear me. Yeah. Or an FFA. What am I trying to catch for this person? I can't remember. A tiger butterfly? I don't even think those are out this time of day. So weird. Really good with Meta Knight and Ike in FFA and teams. For whatever reason. I don't know why. I got surprisingly good with Charizard in Smash. I don't know how I did it or, or why I did it, but all of a sudden one day I just found I found myself playing Charizard and, and feeling very confident about my skills and doing really well too. I don't know what I was thinking, uh, picking him up, because I, I almost never play Charizard, so it was really weird for me to just like to go in and, and start playing, but I did really well, actually. Let's see. I think I've gotten everything I need to do today. I did all my, uh, all the easy chores. Wear today's lucky item. I'm not going to be able to do that one. Um... 
I'm gonna save that and get a whole bunch at the same time. Um, I think that's it. I'm gonna hang out for just a few more minutes, though. Try and think of some more stuff to do. I wonder if I can put some trees down. I want to try another character after I learn a bit more of Mega Man. Um, suggestions on characters... So I, I've, just like you made a commitment to never spam with Mega Man, I've made a commitment to never play Bayonetta, so I'm not going to suggest Bayonetta. I hate her. Um, I would say... Um, I, I'd like to be better with Jigglypuff. Because I think that Jigglypuff has a lot of potential and a lot of uh, surprising things that you can do with her. Catching people off guard is, like, probably the most rewarding thing you can do in that game. Um, but possibly... <laughs> possibly... I would say Cloud, but Cloud's a little overpowered right now. And Ryu... Ryu's good, but he's got a, a bunch of disadvantages. He's so slow. You have to be really... You have to practice with him a lot to get good with him. Um, I don't know. Oh, what about Sheik? Sheik or Zelda? I would love to be better with Sheik, so... I'm going to suggest that to you. Good old Jigglypuff. I'll consider... Bum, 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 bum. Sheik or Zelda? I think Zelda's pretty cool. She's got a lot of good, like... A lot of good attacks. Oh, great. Be home, be home, be home, be home. You're not home. Dang it. Hey, I won't get stung if I stand here like this. Ha! Ha! I got away from the bees. That was awesome. Or, ooh, how about this? How about this? Princess Peach. Ooh. She's very floaty. Princess Peach. Bum, 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 bum. Oh my god, Peach. <laughs> I didn't get stung by the bees now. I saved and quit. Is there another? Yeah. I wonder if I should scan an amiibo character and try to invite them into this town. Um, I think I'm gonna try to do that. Let me let me get a couple of cards out here real quick. Go back to my house and scan a character. I'm really hoping that they they ask me for Paula to move out. That's that's my end game here. Hopefully that does work out. So I've got a bunch of cards just sitting right up here. These are all the extra cards that I have. It's a lot. Uh, let me file through these real quick and see who would who could come in and who who would not. Who would be a good fit for my town? Actually, uh, Renee might be okay. Let's hold on to Renee for a second. Um, I like this dude, uh, Quilson. We'll hold on to him for a second too, and Pluck. Let me keep going, though. I'm not going to go through every single character, but I am going to go through any of the ones that happen to come up. Who's that? Rhonda? 
No. Rhonda. Okay. We're going to scan Quilson today, and then next week... Um, next week, we're going to scan uh, Renee. I have two houses to get rid of here, so... Here by popular request, it's Quilson. Move here. Oh yeah, they give you meow coupons too, I forgot. Sweet Tooth Black Man, what's going on? Cool, cool. I feel like I should modify this too. Since the other one's already modified. Uh, Sweet Tooth, I'm not sure what you're talking about, but uh, welcome to the stream. Glad you're here. It's raining now. It's weird. It was not raining like 20 seconds ago. All right, let's talk to Cyrus. You got something good. Body color, 200 bells, yes please. What do you suggest? Ash brown. Or was it gray? I think it's brown. Mm, I think it was ash. Let's try it. <clears throat> Let's see. As far as food, you should totally eat some ramen. Or macaroni and cheese. That's what's up. Macaroni and cheese is the food of kings. And queens, also. So any minute now, and in about two or three minutes, we're going to have the results for the Amiibo voting. I believe if you've been paying attention, you'll probably already know who won. But in just a couple of minutes, we're going to have some results on the Amiibo voting there's still a couple of seconds here to get your vote in if you want to vote for either Isabel or Cap'n. Um, <clears throat> make sure you cast your vote. But the results are coming up very soon. In just about seven seconds. Seven seconds. So the winner of the Amiibo voting for today is none other than your favorite mayor assistant, Isabel. So she is the Amiibo champion, despite popular demand. She she actually won the popular vote this time. Um, so Isabel is your current Amiibo champion, and we'll be doing this again next year. So if you guys are um if you want to have a chance to have someone else win the amiibo challenge um of course stick with me all year long because i do i do streaming every sunday at 6 p.m eastern uh but next year around this time i'll be starting new voting for new uh for another amiibo session and, and by that time there might even be a new amiibo so we'll see how that goes but Isabel is your winner. She is the champion amiibo. And she's near and dear to your hearts. So hopefully, uh, if you voted for amiibo, for, for Isabel, congratulations. If you voted for Cap'n, well, better luck next time, I guess. But 
Uh, I also I want to do some some voting for um, characters too. So I might actually go into uh, some some character voting um, for the rest of the for the rest of the time. So we'll see how that goes. But um, I have no uh, I'm not really sure how that's going to work because there's so many characters and there's so many amiibo cars and there's so much going on that I don't know if I could even um, if I could even do that. So. So maybe I'll do something with like, um, with voting, um, in order for a certain character to have a spot in, in the next tournament. So January, the first Sunday in January will be the first round of the next tournament, uh, which means I plan on being here streaming Animal Crossing forever. So, um, so we're gonna be we're gonna be online for at least that long, and hopefully we'll have some new announcements with Animal Crossing coming up soon. Maybe there'll be some some cool stuff coming up. But as far as uh, as far as amiibo functionality goes, we'll we'll work something out. We'll get something going. Uh, Sweet Tooth, what's going on? Um, <laughs> are you still there? Um, you should definitely eat something. Uh, whatever you feel like you want to eat, you should eat it. That's all I got. That's all I got for you. What else are we going to do today? I'm actually probably going to log off here in just a couple minutes. Um, I... I am a little tired today and a little trying to get some things taken care of around the house. So I'm probably going to log off and wrap everything up today. But I'm super glad you guys were here today and, and took part in the voting of the Amiibo character. Super glad you were here. And of course, I'll be back next Sunday with some more Animal Crossing. I'll be back. I'm actually going to stream tomorrow night as well. Um with some Lego Marvel superheroes. Um, so come back for that. And I'll be doing some Splatoon 2 on Tuesday night. So be here for that as well. Um, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday are still on the table. So there'll be some, some new stuff coming up on those days as well. So I'll be streaming. I'll be online quite often. So definitely check me out. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and log off. Thanks so much, guys, for hanging out. Have a great night. Have a great week, and I'll catch you on the flippity-flip.